Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Geometry Common Core Regents. So we're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 20. So what is an equation of a circle whose center is at 2, negative 4 and tangent to the line x equals negative 2? So I'm going to just draw this out. So this isn't the radius but the line is going to be, there's going to, this line that's going to be tangent to the circle. So, so our center is at 2, negative 4, so here's 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, so here's our center, and then this line, x equals negative 2, so here's x equals negative 2, and we know that the radius is always halfway across, right? A circle. So let's just draw in more lines here so you can see this more clearly. So you can see that the radius is one, two, three, four units away. So the radius is equal to four. So now we can just make our equation. So x minus 2 squared plus, so just getting this from the center, x plus 4 squared, and then the, to get the radius, we're always going to square the radius to put for the number here. So 4 squared is just going to be 16. So now we just need to find the right answer choice. So we have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 16, so that's choice 2. Number 21. For the acute angles in a right triangle, sine of 4 of x equals cosine of 3 of x plus 13. What is the number of degrees in the measure of the smaller angle? So, so the acute angles in a right triangle. So that means these two angles are going to add to 90 degrees. So knowing that, we can just add them, add these two angles together and set it equal to 90 and then solve for x. We have 4x plus 3x plus 13 equals 90 and just combining like terms gives us 7x plus 13 equals 90. Subtract 13 from both sides. This gives us 77 and we'll get x equals 11. So we're not done here. I know 11 degrees is a choice but this is just the value of x. So we also we're looking for the measure of the smaller angle between these two. So what we want to do is plug the value of x, 11, back into these angles. So, so sine of 4 times 11 will give us 44 degrees. And then we have the cosine angle, 3 of 3 times 11 plus 13. So this gives us 33 plus 13, which is 46 degrees. So we're looking for the smaller angle between the two, which is 44 degrees. Choice three, that's our answer. For question 22, triangle PQR is shown on the set of axes below. Which quadrant will contain R double prime, the image of point R after a 90 degrees clockwise rotation centered at zero, zero, followed by a reflection over the x-axis? So there's two different um, transformations we're doing. So first we're looking at point R. So let's just make up some values for point R. So this looks like it's at 4, 3, right? So R is at 4, 3. And now we're going to be rotating it clockwise. So clockwise, 90 degrees. So that always means to the right because it's going in the direction of that a clock goes. So the rule for that um, says xy becomes y comma negative x. So to do that we get r prime and then we have y negative x so that becomes 3 negative 4. So, or you could just realize that we're going this way and know that we're like somewhere down here. Even though I'm plugging in numbers and using the rules you don't have to do it this way you can just realize Oh, if I'm going clockwise, I'm going to end up in here somewhere. So we end up at 3, 4, which is about where we drew this line, this uh, dot. And then this is followed by a reflection over the x-axis. So so we wanted, so over the x-axis, that's over this line. So you would just end up back in quadrant 1. 
because if we were to reflect this over the x-axis, that's where it would read, end up. So notice this is four units away, one, two, three, four, from the x-axis, and then this on the other side will now also be four units away, one, two, three, four. So we know that the answer is quadrant one. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!